Residents in Palmyra who may be kicked out of their homes to make way for a new freight link have met with the Transport Minister for the first time. Young families, elderly residents and people who've lived in the same home for decades were all told their properties may be demolished to make way for the $1.6 billion freight link that would link Fremantle Port to the industrial areas of Kewdale, Welshpool and Canningvale. Now together the residents have held protests to show their anger at the move which would affect 77 properties in up to 20 Palmyra streets. Joining us now this morning, we've got Damon, D Damon and Tanya Smirk, who've been leading the charge. Damon and Tanya, good morning to you both. Good morning, good morning Tim. Tim. Now, you met with the Transport Minister finally yesterday. How did that go? Um, yes, look, we, we really welcomed the opportunity to actually meet with the Transport Minister, um, so that was good. There was a, a delegation of eight Palmyra residents from, uh, from two streets in Palmyra that uh, sat down and met with the Minister. Uh, we are all a little bit disappointed that it took um, us to be making a lot of noise through the media to actually uh, achieve uh, a meeting with the Minister and, uh, and Main Roads. How would you gauge the mood amongst uh, the group of residents that this would affect? Is there a feeling of inevitability about this? I think there still is a feeling of, uh, of inevitability um, because the only other option that's been put on the table and the Minister was very adamant that uh, he really wants to push the tunnel option and uh, there's, a, there's a couple of um, problems I think with the tunnel option which um, they claim they can go, go forward with it and, uh, and solve those solutions but uh, I, th I, think, um, I think the residents feel that maybe perhaps um, it's going to be a little bit too, too difficult to actually overcome those obstacles with the, with the tunnel option. People who are not directly affected by this might say this is unfortunately the price of progress. What would you say to them? Um, until you're actually in the position where someone says we are going to take you home, you really don't understand how dramatic it is and how morally crushing it is to have your whole family ripped apart like this, to have to leave the family home of 18 years and the people that you live with, our neighbours are like family and to have that taken away, it is really crushing and I know the whole of Palmyra stands with us. They don't want this to go through because it will affect our whole community. Can I ask, just lastly, have you started planning for what might be your eviction? No. No. Not at all. We basically have to plan to finish the renovation of our home first, so that's our main concern. We we don't even want to think that we're going to lose our home at the moment. We, we have got a little bit of hope, um, which we have to, but uh, our main concern at the moment is keeping our family together, getting mm. on with our daily lives and finishing our renovation. Mm. Right, well, we're certainly following this one with interest. I know a lot of people there are not very happy about it. So, Damon and Tanya, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Tim. Tim.